New at 6.30, a mid-Missouri organization is still working to raise funds for a new veterans housing complex in Columbia. Now, ABC 17's Lindsey Burning joins us live from the future veterans welcome home site. And Lindsey, U.S. Senator Roy Blunt spoke there today on the importance of the project to our area veterans. Joey, he did right now welcome home a community for veterans is about 64% funded. As, as you can see behind me, construction's already underway. It started in February, and the building behind me is completely gutted and ready to renovate from an old hotel building into new apartments. But the project still needs about $3 million to complete. We do have a homeless veterans problem in the country. We had a veteran suicide problem in the country. Both of those need to be dealt with. Uh, and uh, I think uh, Welcome Home is uh, doing some of the things very much that need to be done to see that both of those issues are dealt with. The Welcome Home, a community for veterans campus, will have 25 one-bedroom permanent housing apartments called Patriot Place Apartments. Right now, that half of the project is fully funded. But money is still needed to build a shelter for homeless veterans with 29 temporary beds and a supportive services center. Columbia City Manager Mike Mathis recently recommended that $500,000 from the city's general fund savings from last year be given to the Welcome Home Project. I can't think of a better use of the savings than this. Uh, you know, our, our veterans are coming back and we can try to help them re-enter the the civilian life or not, and uh, we, we deal with the consequences either way. Welcome Home Board President Ross Bridges says if the city council chooses to give that money to the project, it will go toward converting the existing building into about half of the rooms and to start construction on the new building that will house the rest of the rooms. It's important for the community to remember that uh, these individuals were veterans before they were homeless. Uh, you know, they have served our country in our country's time of need, and I think our country thrives when we return the favor back to them and serve them now in their time. Mathis tells me the city council will decide whether to accept his re uh, recommendation on the funds at the second city council meeting in September. And the Patriot apartments are expected to be completed by May 2016. But as for the other half of the project, the emergency shelter, there is no ex uh, expected completion date on that half of the project until the rest of the funds are raised. Reporting live in Columbia, Lindsay Burning, ABC 17 News. The Harry S. Truman VA says it has seen about 800 new homeless veterans so far.